Dobar dan vsem, dobrodošli v sem zdaj vesel, da spi v tem času, v podobnem času, ko je čas na vlasti skupaj. Mi smo imeli na zdaj lepo izkušnjo sinodalnega srečanja animatorjev pred enim mesecem v junju in jaz bi to vzel za izhodišče našega skupnega srečanja, ker nismo tukaj se moj zaobdane. Mnogih krat v Sloveniji in sem res zelo vesel, da smo tole skupaj in da imamo tako eminentnega gosta med svoj. Izhodišče bom vzel to, kar sem prebral tudi takrat. In sicer gre za marino sporočilo pred 20 leti, ki je bilo pred 20 leti za Slovenijo. Skutečno, mnogo to boste tega spomeni, ampak mislim, da je še kako aktualno danes. Samo en del. To je bil 8. februar 1992. Pravi, govorite o drugih stvareh pa o drugih delih, ki ustavlja, to zdaj ni pomembno. Pravi, Slovenija ne preti več še vojna nevarnost, pač pa vanja odira nevarna duhovna tema. Ta se bo zelo zvito skušala odihotapiti vse pole krščanskega življenja in delovanja. Škodovati krščanstvu in prevzeti državno oblast, to je njen glavni cilj. In iz Slovenije bo tema segala dalečno okolje. Vsak sam lahko oceni, kje smo danes v tem drogu. Pravi, in tu obstaja samo en način, da se hranite in varujete, da se branite in varujete. Spreobrnite se, živite v spravi, delite mir, živite po evangeliju in Božjih sporočilih, molite in postite se. Počivate lahko samo v sinovem in mojem srcu. Pazite zdaj tole. Sicer pa ni čas za lenobo, duhovno lenobo in počitek. Ni čas za duhovno lenobo in počitek. To Marija pred 20 let. Fenomenalno, ne? Še kako je totalna ta čas, zdaj. Jaz bi nadaljal samo z enim drugim odomkom, ki smo dobili v eni molitvi posredniški približno tri tedne nazaj, ki se mi je zdela tudi zelo preroška z Makabejcem. Torej, šlo je za Juda premaga Antiohija Antioha pri Mordejinu. Torej, govori o tem kralju Antioha, ko jih v bistvu je so ljudje v strašni stiski. Pravi, po divjanu mislih je torej hotel kralj, je namerjal po sreči Judom še shujši, posteči še skušim od tega, kar jim je storil njegov oče. Ko je Juda izvedel, zato je ukazal množici, naj po delim po noči prosi gospoda, naj jim pomaga predvsem zdaj, ko jim grozi, da pridejo do obpostavo, ob domovino in svet in sveti tempel. Skratka, da jim bo vse vzeto. Postava, domovina, tempel, vse, kar je bilo dragoceno. Torej, naj ne dopusti, da bi njihov narod prišel pod tudi oblast zelo glasnih ljudstev, ko je pomej zasilo za diho. In tako so tri dni brez premora vsi skupaj delali isto, ter med jokom in postom na kolenih klicali v smiljenje gospoda na pomoč. Na to jih je Juda spodbudno nagoril in ukazal, naj bodo pripravljeni. Na sestanku na samem s terešinami je sklenil, da odrinejo na pohod in z Božjo pomočjo in silijo odločitev, preden bi kraljeva vojska udrla v Judejo in se polestila mesta. Izic popada, je prepustil stvarniku sveta, svoje ljudi pa spodbudil, naj se hrabro in s krajnim tveganjem bojujo za postave, svetišče, mesto, domovino in ustanove. Na to se je utaboril pri Modaini. Potem, ko je svojim vojakom dal geslo Božja zmaga, je po noči z izbrano četo najhrabrejših mladeničev napadel kraljev Šotor in pobil okrog dva tisoč ljudi. In njegovi bojevni, ki so tudi zabodli najpostavnejšega med sloni in zgonjačo more. Končno so preplavili taborišče z grozo in zmešnjavo, ter se zmagoslavno moknili. 
To se je zgodilo, ko se je že danilo, ker je bil gospod, ker jim je gospod pomagal s svojim varstvom. Torej, kaj je bilo odvisto tega odlomka? Štiri stvari, ki so ključne. Jaz tem bom zaključil. Torej, na kolenih so prosili usmiljenje gospoda, klica za vse, vsem, kar so premorili gospodu, prva stvar. Druga, izic popada so prepustili gospodu, ki je stvarnik vsega. In potem so se hrabro in s krajnim tveganjem bojevali za postave, svetišče, mesto, domovino, ustanove. S krajnim tveganjem. In ti ujaki so imeli geslo Božja zmaga. To so mogoče štiri ključne ali ne, je to kaj. Zato smo tukaj. Evo, Lenka. Tole Bože besedo smo prvo sredičanje. In je naenkrat Sveti Duh v ta ogen zapihal, Bog oče pa zgre v luco ta drva, da mi premaknil in naložil še gor. In se je naenkrat tak ogen dvignil gor. In potem, ko smo slavili naprej, mi je pa bilo, ne vem čist točno, vrstica, ampak danaj razglašamo, danaj se borimo z Božjo besedo v naših ustih in s crkvo. V imenu Jezusa Hristusa razglašam, da smo svet narod, da smo Božje ljudstvo izbrani, da oznanjamo od ljuha njega, ki nas je poklical iz teme v svojo pročudovito luče. Stav ne ved to, što kjer vas je to pisko piše, ampak pogledam, da naj z Božjo besedo oznanjamo rešitev naroda. Hvala. 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 Uh, it's a great honor for me to be here. And thank you for coming from all over the country. To take out, take this time to be able to be together. I really appreciate it. Our brother Don is upstairs in bed. He's sick. He's got a bad headache, a sinus, and stomach. This is the first mission trip he's ever done that he got sick. And he's so sad he can't be with you today. Because he loves you all very, very much. He came with a prayer for him. Let's just turn to the Lord and ask the Holy Spirit to come. Jesus, we thank you for our good brother. We ask you to stretch forth your hand in signs and wonders. To heal him. In the name of Jesus. We break the strategies of the devil. Any assignment against him. We break its power. We command you to leave in the authority of Jesus. Let your Holy Spirit be upon him and comfort him today. Gospodin ga to laži danes. V Jesus name. V imenu Jezusa. Amen. 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 Well, let me give you an idea of what I thought we were going to do today. Ne vam povem, kaj sem jaz menil, da bomo danes počeli. We'll see what the Holy Spirit wants to do today. So, when I was talking to the brothers about coming, ko sem govoril bratom, da bom prišel, Part of the reason for coming, del razloga za kaj bi prišel oziroma moj razloga za prihod. Don, who works as a country coordinator with Renewal Ministries, je zara Donalda, ki deluje kot koordinator za prenovo v duhu, za, ja. And this is his last mission for Renewal Ministries as a country coordinator. In kot koordinator, se pravi, je to njegova zadnja misija, se pravi njegovo zadnje potovanje. He's semi-retiring. Saj se na nek način že upokojuje. 
He feels he can only do the the, the uh, work of the men of St. Joseph right now. And he's been working with us for 25 years or more. Uh, it's been a great joy. He's a tremendous man of God. So we're going to transition from a renewal ministry's point of view. From renewal ministries, yeah. we're in a transition. Where? For here. Yeah. So I asked the brothers if we could have some time with leaders. So I can hear from you what the Spirit is saying, what the Lord is doing in Slovenia. And then discern the future of collaboration with Renewal Ministries and the work of God in Slovenia. So, as I envision today, I want to share with you the, what we at home, Ralph Martin and Ralph Martin, our whole team, what we really believe is happening now in the world. The reading of the signs of the times. And sharing what we feel the Spirit is saying to the church. Uh, for the purpose of following Jesus' leadership. Because he's absolutely in charge of everything. He's, he's not worried in heaven. He's not having a bad day. He's reigning as Lord. And he's reigning in his people. And he chose us for this moment. And he wants us to understand the nature of the moment. The, the nature of the battle. So we can be clear that he's in charge. He's the Lord. We're made for this time. And we all have an assignment. You see the Lord. You see Mama and he wants us to work with him to fulfill it. So begin the first part of our time together. I'll share some thoughts. And then we'll take some time for you to respond. And then we'll take a break. And then we'll come back for some more. But I'll tell you at the end what the next session will be. And then we'll come back for some more. But I'll tell you at the end what the next session will be. And then we'll come back for some more. Okay. Uh, just to begin, just say a few words about myself. No, as a chitik, nikki bi se do samo o meni, o njem. I'm married. Tore, sem porochen. To a lovely woman named Debbie. To the vito ženo ki ime Debbie. We met when we were doing evangelization at the University of Michigan. And we fell in love. Debbie is a Jewish convert to the faith. And we have four children. And ten grandchildren. <laughs> yes. So, we're busy. Yeah, yeah. Can I ask how many people, let's see, today's Saturday, Friday, Thursday. How many people were here either on Thursday and Friday when we were speaking? Okay. Okay. Oh, quite a few, like maybe a third. Okay. Is I want to make sure I don't repeat too much. Yeah. And uh, and so and then I've been working with uh, Ralph Martin in so the Louis was Ralph Martin for forty years. Roughly. Yeah. And the Lord brought us together. It was a kind of miracle. We were both in the Word of God community, a covenant community in Ann Arbor. And my wife and I were working with university students and high school kids. 
And I knew Ralph, in Vedo sem poznal sem Ralfa, but we didn't spend much time together. Vendar se nismo veliko družili v tisti časih. But he called me one day, ampak nekega dne me je Ralf Martin poklical. And he asked me if I would go with him to hear a speaker in Detroit, Michigan. In uprašal me, ali bi z njim šel mogoče poslušati enega govorca in Detroit. Detroit, yeah. Torej v Detroit, v Michiganu. It's about one hour from Ann Arbor. In to je nekaj en uro stran od Ann Arborja. Uh, one speaker of a larger conference, he just wanted to hear the one speaker. On je želel samo enega od govorcev slišat. I said, yeah, I'll go. I get to spend some time with Ralph Martin. In seveda je sem rekel, ja seveda bom šel. Tako bom preživel nekaj časa z Ralph Martinom. So we went to the meeting. In šla sva na to srečanje. About 3,000 people there. Tam je bilo nekaj cirka 3,000 ljudi. We were sitting way in the back. In še sedela sva čisto vzade. Because we were not part of the conference. Saj mi dva nismo bila del konference. So we heard the speaker. Slišala sva govorca. It was pretty good. Je bilo kar v redu. It was right before lunch, after his talk, the leader of the meeting gave announcements before lunch, and then he said, but one more thing, the Lord wants us to pray for two men who are here today. And they had their national, international leaders there. In tukaj so sprej, na levi strani so meni mednarodne voditelje. We didn't know anybody. Mi nismo, mi dva nismo poznala nikoga tam. And they said, they pointed us out. In pokazali so na naju. We were way in the back. Mi dva so pa bila čisto od zadnja. Us? In potem so reka, kar mi dva. And they said, yeah. Yeah. And they said, could we pray with you? In potem so reka, ali lahko z vami molimo? So I asked Ralph. In jaz sem prašal Ralph. Sure. So they excused everybody. We came up to the front. And their prophets were in the front. These were all Protestants, no Catholics. They had no idea we were Catholics. They had no idea who Ralph was. And they certainly didn't know who I was. So we come up. And, and they, their team prays for Ralph. And I'm listening. And they gave some very strong words of knowledge. And they said some things about his life. There's no way they could know. Uh, oh, you know? And then... Uh, it was amazing anointing. In your blood, you do it. In your blood, it's him. But it was very personal. And because you wrote it, it's a little simple. So then they were going to pray with me. And then they said, "I'm leaving. I'm getting out of here." I don't want to see my secrets. Don't tell my secrets. And they prophesied over me. And then 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 they prophesied over me. The man who was leading it, I didn't know him, but it turns out he's a very famous Pentecostal. And his name is Bill Hammond. And he's from the South. They speak different in the South than they do in the North. And he goes, he's a big man. And he goes, he said, son, Sin, the Lord's going to take you all over the world. And he's going to sow you, like sowing, you know, like sowing seeds. And he's going to sow you into lands all around the world. And then he said, you have a flexible spirit and a flexible mind. He said, you're a little wild. He said, you know how to do the old church. Like, 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 like the old ritual. Like, and you know the new wine. You like the old wine and you like the new wine. You know what I'm thinking? Okay. And he says, God is going to open doors all around the world. He wants you to go through those doors. Only the doors that he opens. And then a woman says, I see great battleships lined 
up in a harbor. V pristanišču. And they're ready to go to battle. In pripravljene so te bojne lade so pripravljene za bitko. And these are men and women. In to so možje in žene. That are anointed. Ki so maziljeni. For this mission. Za ta misijon, za to poslanstvo. And the Lord's going to bring them to you. In gospod jih bo pripeljal k te. And he wants you. In želi da ti. To help them get to the nation. Pomagaš njim, da gredo narodom. He said some other things. Potem je rekel še neke druge stvari. Private things. Zelo privatne stvari. Zasebno. I'll tell you in secret later. Zasebno kasneje povedal. But, we're driving home, Ralph and I. In potem sveda so se vozila z tega srečanja nazaj domov. Jaz in Ralph. And I said, what did you think of that? In potem sem ga vprašal, no, kaj si ti je zdelal? He said, I really felt the anointing of the Lord. In Ralph je rekel, res sem čutil gospodovo maziljenje. I said, what should we do? In potem sem rekel, kaj ne storimo? Because we were working together. We were just in the same community. Ker mi pa v bistvu nismo skupaj delali, bila smo samo v isti skupnosti. He said, well, on je rekel, no. The Bible says, Sveto pismo pravi, do not despise prophecy, ne, torej ne zanemarjajte prerogbe, test everything, preizkušajte vse, hold on to what is good, in zadržte tisto, kar je dobro. I said, I know that passage, in jaz sem rekel, vse poznam to. But what does it mean for us? Ampak kaj to pomeni za naj? He said, well, let's get together, no pravi, deva se, deva bi prit skupaj, once a week, enkrat na teden, in the morning, early, zjutraj zgodaj, for one hour, za eno uro, one day a week, en dan na teden, and we'll just come before the Lord, in bova skupaj prišla pred gospoda, and we'll ask him, in bova vprašala, to confirm the words, da potrjuje besedo, and then he said, let's call sister Anne Shields, in potem je rekel, pokliče vaše sestro Anne Shields, she has a good ear for the Lord, ona ima dobro uho za gospoda, and she can come and help us, in ona lahko pride in nama pomaga, because you know, men need help, men need help, veste, moški potrebujemo pomoč, isn't it true, ladies, ani to, ani to res bod dame, yeah, ok, so, no, So we are we meet on Wednesday morning at the sisterhood. In the sisterhood, none. In the sisterhood, motor of Sreda is usually present three. And Shields, pri pri redomnica. Play my guitar. Yes, yes, he grams so a guitaro. And then we have choir. Choir. We just had time of quiet. Ah, and potem se veda potem i mamo čas v tišini. So, and at the end of our time, I would ask. There were two other people with us too. Is anyone hear anything from the Lord? In potem času. Jaz ponovadi vprašam, bila ste še dve osebi, sta tam zraven, pravi, a je to slišal kaj od gospoda? So like week after week, torej teden za tedno, we had a nice prayer time, smo imeli lep molitveni čas, but I said, is anybody hearing anything? No, 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 Sister Anne said, "Yes, Sister Anne Schultz, the rector of the Lord." Yes, this was 19 late 1989. Torretor, when he came, he said, "This was 1990." She said, um, "I heard two words." Yes, Sister Anne Schultz, the rector of the Lord. Lithuania, Slisha was in Dvebe City, and Ukraine. Lituania in Ukraina. You're supposed to go to Lithuania and Ukraine. Torret, mora šiti v Lituaniju in Ukraino. I said, okay. He said, okay, what are you doing? I said, do you know anybody there? Ali, poznaš koga tam morda? She said, no. Ne, prekla je ne, ne poznam. And I said, Ralph, do you know anybody there? Potem sem rekel, Ralph, ali ti poznaš da uče koga tam? Je rekel, ne. I said, so what do we do with this? I potem sem rekel, kaj pa s tem storimo zdaj? Don't despise prophecy. Torej, ne zametuj, ne? Test everything. Ne odlogašajte duha, preizkušajte vse. Hold on to what is good. In zadržite tisto, kar je dobro. So we did. In tako smo storili. And two weeks later, in dva tedna kasneje, Ralph came to the meeting, je Ralph prišel na srečanje, and he said, he got a phone call the night before, je rekel je, da so ga noč pred tem klicali, from a bishop in Lithuania, in Lithuania, to je Litva, seveda, torej dobil je klic enega škopa iz Litve noč pred tem, and he said, you're Ralph Martin, in ta škop je rekel tako, le, a si se je Ralph Martin, in on je rekel, ja, seveda, I want you to come to Lithuania, želim, da prideš v Litvo, to help us with evangelization. The door opened. Vrata so se otvrla. That was door number one. To so bila vrata številka ena. This bishop is now a cardinal, Tomkevich is. Je danes kardinal. He was in the gulag for nine years. Bil gulag, bo devet let. When the wall went down, in ko je Berlinski zid padel, he came out of the gulag, out of prison, je prišel ven iz zapora, and St. John Paul II made him the bishop of Kamas. In Janez Pavel II ga je posvetil v Škofa. 
So we went there for our first international mission. I tam smo šli sve za prvo međunarodno misijo. And we did three large rallies. I tam smo imali tri velika srećanja. And then helped him off helped him develop an office for Catholic evangelization. I pomagali smo mu da uspostavi pisarno za katoliško oznanjevanje, evangelizaciju. And then raised money for him to put together a team. I pridobili smo tudi denar za to da lahko naredi ekipo. To spearhead evangelization. Tako da lahko, tako da lahko v Litvi razširi oznanjevanje, evangelizacija. And we've been doing that ever since. I to počnemo od takrat. And since that time we've done a thousand international missions. I no takrat smo imeli že tisoč mednarodnih srečanj oziroma misij. And probably 75 countries in the Cape of Britain in 1975 we have been sent to Java we really believe resnično verujemo verjamemo that this is an hour da je to ura a critical hour kritična ura in the life of the church v življenju crkve for those who are baptized in the holy spirit za tiste ki so kršćani v svetem duhu to understand da razumemo that the baptism in the Holy Spirit, the Christ was taken to God. The revelation of the Lordship of Jesus. In razodetje gospodovega se pravi to da je da je Jezus gospod. To human hearts, v šuriškim srcem. The outpouring of the spiritual gifts in svet pravi izliju darov svetega duha. And the and the knowledge of the Lordship and Majesty of Jesus. In seveda znanje spoznanje da je Jezus gospod in kralj. Is a critical grace. To je kritična milost. To je to je ključna milost. For the church, za crkvu. And it was given to us, in Yebila nam dana, all of us, sem nam, to renew us, zato da nas obnovi, to awaken faith, zato da dvigne, ozbudi, prebudi vero, for us to see the Lordship of Jesus, tako da lahko vidimo, da je Gospod tudi vladan, to know Him personally, da je spoznamo Jezusa v sebi, to have great confidence in Him, da lahko resnično zaupamo v Njem, that He's a living God, da je živi Bog, that he's acting in the present in the sedai deluje tu kaj changing lives in the spremenja življenja that he's poured out his spiritual gifts in the izliva darove svetega duha to be exercised to build up the church da to da ih lahko da se lahko v njih treniramo in gradimo crkvo to bring renewal da pride spremeni da obnavlja to awaken the graces of baptism and confirmation se veda da prebudi darove birme in i da krsta in birme and to anoint us in da nas mazili for the hour that we're facing in da nas mazili za uro s katero se soočamo to anoint us for what i believe he's already talked to us about da nas mazili za nekaj za kar sem jaz prepričan da nam je o tem že govoril and what i'd like to do is just go through some of the things we really believe at home we really believe the lord has spoken to us and we need to pay attention to in rad bi šel skozi neke stvari za katere smo prepričani oziroma doma pri nas mislimo da nam ih je gospod razodel da nam ih je potrdil zato da da rad bi to z vami podelil so a very significant prophetic purpose in the outpouring of the holy spirit in this generation to je zelo pomemben del to je zelo pomemben preroški del izlitja svetega duha za to generacijo ja as i was sharing on thursday and friday kako smo govorili v četrtek in petek, the words of St. John Paul II, besede papeža Jana za Pavla drugega, he said we're now entering the final confrontation, se pravi, ustopamo v zadnje soočenje, between the gospel and the anti-gospel, med evangelijem in proti anti-evangelijem, between the church and the anti-church, med crkvijo in proti crkvijo, torej anti-crkvijo, between Christ and the anti-Christ, med Kristusom in anti-Kristom, and he said this is a battle, in on pravi, to je bitka, that the whole church za katero cela crkva must now enter into v katero cela crkva mora se da ustopiti and he said it's a battle in to je bitka which is in the hands ki je v rokah of divine providence uh, božje previdnosti then he for 40 years he leads us as a church how long 38 years or something like that he was the leader to je izvodil vodil nas je nekaj cirka 38 let a, gr- a great friend huh? Yeah, a great friend of the charismatic renewal. He was a very prophetic man. Charismatic renewal. And a very prophetic man. He was a very prophetic man. Pope Benedict XVI. Pope Benedict XVI. He described today. Today, he described. 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 He said what we're seeing around the world. 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 He said what we're seeing around the world je uz uspon tore antikrista duha antikrista an antichrist religion is emerging in uznika v bistvu religija antikrista 
And it's radically set against the church. He said, we, we see and feel the spirit of the Antichrist is rising. Very interesting. Right? And then he said this. He said, today in vast areas of the world, the faith, the faith is in danger of dying out like a flame which no longer has fuel. He said, what's happening is humanity is pushing God from the human horizon. And the light which comes from God is beginning to go dim. And darkness is setting in in many cultures, in many places. He said, with increasing evident and destructive effects. So, they both describe very clearly the nature of the intensification of spiritual combat. In se pravi, oba opisuje ta prav za prav intenzivnost te bitke, se pravi, med evangelijem in anti-evangelijem. And as I mentioned yesterday, day before yesterday, I think, Pope Benedict said, in kot sem omenil, Pope Francis, in kot sem omenil pred dvemi dnevi, Papež Frančišek pravi, as he was reflecting on the gender ideology, ko je razmišljal, se pravi, o tej gender ideologiji, and the woke culture, in se pravi, o tej kulturi, ki se prebuja, he said, gender, teorija spola, ne? Tako, teorija spola, pardon, hvala na tej. He said, gender ideology, se pravi, teorija spola, is demonic, je demonska. It has a demonic root. Ima demonsko korenino. So you have all these popes talking about what's happening in the culture and the spiritual roots of it. And the redefinition of what's human. The redefinition of man and woman. The deconstruction of marriage. This is the battleground. To je vojno polje, tu je bitka. The family, družina, human identity, identiteta, človeška je človeka. Is the icon of God on the earth. Človek je ikona Boga na zemlji. Many people, many writers used to say, veliko pisateljev je takole povedala, as the church goes, tako kot crkev gre, so goes the family. Tako gre tudi družina. But, in the last 50 years, vendar v zadnjih 50 leti, some of the clearest sociology nekaj najbolj jasne sociologije talks about the reverse govori obratno why is the church collapsing in places zakaj je crkv propada na določenih mestih because historically zato ker zgodovinsko sociologically sociološko the church goes as the family goes zato ker ja gre crkv tako kot gre družina as the family gets deconstructed in tako kot se v bistvu kot prihaja do dekonstrukcije this is the domestic church this is where the church lives družina je v bistvu domača crkva tam i tam crkva živi tu je crkva živa the church is a family of families to je the church to je crkva je družina družin so here's the battleground no vidite tukaj je bitka and today in your own country in danes v vaši državi the, the, the darkness continues to unfold. No longer father or mother, but parent one and parent two. Okay, if there's no if there's no father and mother, which is what brings family into being, and you see the darkness of mind. The reason, I was telling John, Johanna said, the reason governments care about the family, vidite, razlog, zakaj se pravi država, vlada, skrbi za družino, historically, the reason there was, were laws regarding marriage and responsibility to stay married, torej, zgodovinsko, je bilo tako, da je vlada skrbela za družino in so bili zakoni, ki so bili temu namenjeni. Because families bring together the future of the political community. Zato, ker družine v bistvu prinašajo tudi prihodnost, tudi politike, tudi države. And the best place 
In najboljši, the kraj, safest place, in najbolj varen kraj. Sociologically, psychologically, sociolo- sociološko, psihološko. To raise the ne- the future, za se pravi za uzgajati nekoga za prihodnost. Is in the family. Je družina. Right? So that's why governments got involved in the family business. I zato so, zato se vlada uključila v se pravi v zakonodajo o družina. Was to protect the political community. Za prav za to da tudi zaščiti svojo politično uh, s, sebe. And in part, in delno, to make sure men da se da se zagotovi da možje are responsible da so možje odgovorni for their sexual behavior. Za svoje za svoje se pravi uh, spolna dejanja and bringing children into the world in da lahko pri 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 pelje otroke v svet so the government gave rewards and and gave um made it an advantage to stay married in zgodovinska je vlada prosprav nagrajevala družino nagrajevala to da je prišlo do otrok to make sure the man and the woman who brought the baby into the world took care of the baby tako da se da je vlada poskrbela da sta možni žena ki sta dobila otroka tudi poskrbela lahko za otrok so the government doesn't have to do it tako da vladi tega ni treba right that's why governments care about marriage. Zato je vlada mar za zakon. And so they understood where the children come from, men and women, mother and father. Sa so se vede razumeli, od kje otroci prihajajo, od moža in žene. Right. But now they're saying, no, that's not a, a family is two people. Ampak vi ste, vidite, danes pa več tega ne govorijo. Danes govorijo, družina sta pač dve osebi. In my country now, v moji državi, se pravi v ZDA, we say not only partner one, partner two, mi ne rečemo samo partner ena, partner dva. But if you don't need a man and a woman, ampak če ne rabiš moža ali in žene, why do you need two? Zakaj potrebuješ pol dva? Why not three? Zakaj ne tri? Why not four? Zakaj ne šti? Why not five? Zakaj ne pet? So now polyamory it's called. Zdaj imamo polyamorijo. Like groups of people get married. To so skupine ljudi, ki se med seboj poročijo skupaj. And if marriage is just love between adults, in če je se pravi poroka samo ljubezen med odraslimi ljudi. What's magical about two? Kaj je tako čarobnega v dveh? If it doesn't have to do with a man and a woman who bring about a new life, to reči ni pomembno da sta mož in žena za novo življenje. It's just a legal agreement between two people who love each other. In gre samo za legalni sporazum med dvema ki se ljubita. Why can't more adults do it? Za kaj potem to ne more storiti več odraslih krati? So, so it's crazy. Torej, to je norm. And so what's happening we see it gets further and further away in from vidim, family. In vidite, vse bolj se stvar oddaljuje od osnovnega pomovanja družine. Male and female he created them. Moški in žena, mož in žena ju je stvaril. Family is God's idea. Veste, družina je Božja zamisel. The story of, of God from Genesis to Revelation is a story about a marriage. Veste, cela zgodba v Svetem pismu od začetka do konca je zgodba poroke, zakona. Human, human history is moving toward a marriage. In se pravi, cela zgodovina, v celi zgodovini gre za moža in ženo, za zakone. God is preparing a bride for his son. The father is preparing a bride for his son. Bogo oče pripravlja nevesto za svojega sina. So, This is the significance, like the ground, the, the basis of the battle. To je se pravi vojno polje. Okay. Tu se, tu se v osnovi dogaja zdaj bitka. Does that make sense? Ali vam je to jasno? Anybody have different ideas about it? A vam, a kdo drugače razmišlja o tej stvari mogoče? It's hard to say it in a group like this. Teško je tako v skupini povedati na glas. I offer that to you to think about. To se vam ponudil zato, da malo razmislite o tem stvari. Because there's a different world view now that is informing the culture. What is the culture? The culture is the way of life of a people. What the culture values. What it honors. What it rewards. What it protects. What it projects, kaj projicira. Everybody breathes the culture air. Si mi prav za prav dihamo uh, to svojo kulturo, v kateri živimo, right? And historically, in zgodovinsko, you have the revelation of God, imamo Božje razdetje, that informed the culture, ki je v bistvu informiralo različne and the way of life of a people, ki je ki informiralo kulturo in to in se pravi postavljalo način kako ne bi živeli. And then the politics are built on the culture. In potem je seveda politika bila zgrajena na tej kulturi. Because the politics puts in law, zato ker potem politika uzakonja the way of life that the people believe. 
Šprej način življenja, na katerega ljudi živi in v katerega zaupajo. Ok, so what we're living through is a massive cultural change. In kar živimo sedaj, je velika kulturna sprememba. Because the sacred, zato kar tisto, kar je sveto, the mind of God, Božji um, is no longer informing the culture. In več ne informira, sprej ne postavlja pravil v kulturi. Kultura več ne posluša Božji zakon. So a different way of life is forming. In zato se sedaj oblikuje nov način življenja. And it's already in the culture. In je že sedaj v kulturi. And now it's becoming instantiated in law. In sedaj seveda postaja celo uzakonjeno. That's why the Supreme Court made the decision today. Zato je vrhovno sodišče tako odločilo. It's a battle between cultures. To je se pravi zdaj bitka med dvemi kulturi. Because there's a disagreement agreement of the source and the meaning of the way of life. Zato, ker je pravzaprav tukaj nerazumevanje pravzaprav oziroma gre za razumevanje za dva popolno različna razumevanja zasnovana na teh popolno različnih vidikih, pogledi. Torej, Božji pogled in nov pogled. And it's moving very fast. In to se vse dogaja zelo hitro. And one of the challenges we face in ena od izzivov, ki jih imamo, is that young people, da mladi ljudje, are very plugged into so zelo vklopljeni social media, socialni mediji, all day, vsak dan, cel dan. And the culture is global. In kultura je globalna. And the culture is communicated in social media. In ta globalna kultura se najbolj v bistvu dejanja in sporoča skozi socialne medije. And without even thinking about it, ne da bi na to sploh mislili, they're taking in the values. Pravzaprav usrkavajo te vrednote mladi. This is reality. To je resničnost, right? Do you understand? Ali razumem? Yeah, ok, so this is what we're facing, right? To je tisto vse, s čem se sporočamo. In 1975, the young charismatic renewal met for the first time in Rome, leaders, with the Pope, Pope Paul VI. Torej, papež Pavel VI. There was less than a million people in the charismatic renewal at that time. Worldwide, less than a million. Torej, takrat je v celotni katoriški karizmatični prenovi bilo manj kot milijon ljudi iz celega sveta. And about 10,000 leaders came to Rome from all around the world. In nekaj 10 tisoč voditeljev iz celega sveta je prišlo v Rim. To meet, they wanted to meet with the Pope. Želeli so si srečanje s papežem. But it wasn't clear that he was going to come. Ampak ni bilo jasno, ali bo papež prišel. Because some of his advisors were telling him, zato, ker nekateri od njegovih se povalčili. It's too soon. Zato, ker so mu nekateri od njegovih... This movement is too young. Zato, ker so mu nekateri od njegovih se povalčili. It feels, it feels a little Protestant. To je, ves, svetovalci so papežu govorili, malo je morda prezgode. In zgleda, da je ta stvar pre premlada, zgledajo kot protestantija. And they think they're praying in tongues. In oni mislijo, da molijo v jeziki. And we're not sure what we think about all this. In mi nismo prepričani, kaj o vsem tem mislimo. But Paul the sixth decided to come. But Papa Shpavel the sixth, he said, "Do you want to preach?" And he sat down. He said, "I'll sit down in front of the high altar in the in the Saint Peter's, the 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 Saint Peter's, in front of the big altar." And he did what the Pope is supposed to do. In the name of this, that Papa Shmo has to read. To discern the spirit, razločil je duhove, and he said he came to discern the work of God. I rekel je prišel sem da bi razločil Božje delo, da bi lahko razločeval. And from the mouth of Peter, in po ustih Petra, he said you are a chance for the whole church. Vi ste priložnost za celo crkvo. You are a work of God. Vi ste Božje delo. That was important. To je bilo zelo pomembno. Ralph Martin organized that event. He was the he was the main organizer. Ralph Martin he was the main organizer of this thing at the And he was very happy. He was very happy. When they brought the Pope in on the chair, they were still had the chair in those days. Yeah, because the priest of Pope John had been prepared in the nosilo, not for in the stolici. Yeah. And then it was a time of great joy. In to je bil čas velike radosti. Yay! Yeah. They were so happy. Bili su zelo srečni. And the next day, in the sledni dan. Pope Paul VI told Cardinal Sunens, Papež Pavel VI povedal kardinalu Sunen, that he could say mass at the high altar, which is the Pope's altar. Da lahko na papežu in prej tam, kjer papež ponavadi ima mašo, pri velikem otarju, lahko tale kardinal ima mašo. And so everybody was celebrating, it was the final mass. Vsi so proslavljali, bila je to končna maša. The Bernini columns, you know, in the Bernini columns, it's called, you know, the above the altar. Aha. The pillars above the altar. Aha, to so the canopy above the altar. Ja, 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 tiste zastave so bile gor in, ja, ok. 
Everybody felt so good. Yes, we're accepted. Toto je što se počutili super. Ja smo sprejeti. We're a chance for the church. Mi smo priložnost za crkvu. Everyone was rejoicing and dancing. U sisu plesali, u sisu bili u radosti. And then after communion, i potem po pahilu, there was a time to hear the word of the Lord. Je bio čas da poslušaš da bi prisutnili Božje besedi. And Ralph Martin got up with a prophecy. In Ralph Martin je ustao s prorokbo. And he said this. I mi rekao tako da. Because I love you. Zato ker vas ljubim. I want to prepare you for what's coming. Vas želim pripraviti na to kar prihaja. Days of darkness are coming on the world. Dnevi teme prihajajo nad svet. Days of great tribulation. Dnevi velike preizkušnje. A time of darkness is coming on the whole world. Čas teme prihaja na cel svet. But a time of glory is coming for my church. Ampak velik čas slave prihaja za moje crkvo. And a time of glory is coming for my people. In čas slave prihaja za moje ljudi. And I'm going to prepare you. I pripravil vas bom. For the greatest time of evangelization the world has ever seen. Za največje oznanjevanje evangelija, ki ga je svet kadar koli videl. And to prepare you, I'm going to take you into the desert. In za to, da vas pripravim, vas bom odpelje upuščavo. And I'm going to strip you. In vas bom slekel. Of what you're holding on to. Slekel vas bom osvobodil, vas bom tistega, za kar se sedaj držite. And tell you have nothing. And when you tell you have, until you have nothing. Zdaj, da osvobodil vas bom vsega, dokler ne boste imeli več nič. And when you have nothing, you realize you have only me. In ko boste videli, da nimate ni česar, boste spoznali, da imate samo mene. And when you have only me, you will realize you have everything. In ko boste spoznali, pravi gospod, da imate samo mene, boste spoznali, da imate vse. And I'm going to release my glory through you. In takrat bom spustil svojo slavo skozi vas. Okay. I am completely convinced this is what we're living through. We were made for this time. Father Michael Scanlon, former president of Franciscan University of Steubenville. Do any of you remember Father Mike? He was a... He was a He's had a huge impact on the church in the in the United States. And I know it's a lot of value for the church of the United States. Steubenville, the college, continues to be a place of tremendous renewal. In Steubenville, the university is well known as a place of renewal, because the renewal is going on. It's a very big renewal. He said this in 1980. In record, it's about 1280 years ago. He said, "My people hear my word. My people listen to my word. The time that has been marked by my blessings and gifts." Čas, ki je bil, ki je sedaj zaznamovan z mojimi blagoslovi in darovi, will be replaced by a time, namesto tega časa bo prišel drug čas, marked by my judgment and purification, ki bo pa zaznamovan z mojo sodbo in prečiščevanjem. What I have not accomplished in blessings and gifts, kar nisem dosegel z blagoslovi in darovi, I will accomplish by judgment and purification, bom dosegel z sodbo in z prečiščenjem. What has been accomplished in the baptism, kar je bilo, torej, kar, kar je bilo pridobljeno v krstu, and the flooding of gifts of my spirit, in v, 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 se pravi, v darovih mojega duha, will be accomplished through a baptism of fire. Bo sedaj, bo sedaj v bistvu, tisto, kar ni bilo doseženo, bo sedaj doseženo v krstu z ognjem. Yeah. And, and Father Mike goes on to say the prophecy, come together. In potem se oče skanjam pravi takole, Bridite skupaj. Open your lives. Podprite svoje življenja. Support one another. Podpirajte drug drugega. Keep your eyes on the Lord. Gledajte v gospoda. And be ready to be deployed. In bodite pripravljeni, da vas gospod odpošlje. In the mission of the king. V misijo kralja. His grace will increase. Njegova milost se bo povečala. As the battle increases. Tako kot bo bitka bolj intenzivna, tako bo tudi več milost. His provision will increase. Se pravi, Božja... The provision, you know, he'll provide for you. Tore, tisto kar boste potrebovali, bo tudi izrasto gospod, bo dal več tistega, kar boste potrebovali. As the needs increase. Tako kot bodo potrebe, tako bo tudi tisto, kar bo Bog, torej Bog bo poskrbel za te potrebe. And it's critical for us to be able to see and understand, in kritično je za nas, da lahko vidimo in razumemo, the core of the grace of the baptism in the spirit, jedro krsta v svetem duhu is a revelation of the Lordship and Majesty of Jesus. It's a grace from the heart of the Father, the Spirit of God, to the Spirit of the Believer. In its core, revealing and giving us conviction 
v tem jedru nam v bistvu razodeva in nas prepričuje, that Jesus Christ is Lord. Da je Jezus Kristus zares gospod. Right? And then he's in charge of all things. And then it also brings healing. Oh, sorry, sorry. In the Jesus Christ, yeah. So I'd like to say, does that make sense? Okay, now, why am, why I'm putting it that way is think about the book of Revelation. In the first chapter, John Janus, is on an island of Patmos. The Lord's Day. He's praying. Morning. And he has a revelation. In the Bible, as a day, right? From God. Jesus speaks to him. Jesus must pray. John is the shepherd of seven churches. Janus is pastor of seven churches. And each of those churches, Jesus has something to say to. And some of those churches are in serious compromise. In immorality, idolatry, lukewarmness, mlačnost. And they needed the correction of the Lord, some of them. In nekatera teh crkva so potrebovale, da jih Jezus popravi. They needed the discipline of the Lord. Potrebovali so gospodovo disciplino. John was in a difficult situation. Jan je zabil v težkem položaju. Those churches were small and often persecuted. In te crkve, saj so te crkve ve načelo ma majhne in ponavadi so bile preganjane. And the Lord spoke to him. In gospod mu je spregovoril. And he helped him. In pomagal mu je. How did he help him? Kako mu je pomagal? He gave him a revelation. Dal mu je razoditje. Of his lordship and majesty. Da je Kristus gospod in kral. Eyes flaming fire. Torej, ogen iz oči. Hair white as wool. Bela, beli lasije kot volna. From his mouth issued a sword. Iz ust mu je šel meč. And John saw him and what happened? He fell to the ground in the holy fear of God. The Lord gave John a revelation of his glory and power. And the fear of the Lord in his bones. Right? And it strengthened John to bring the message to the letter, the letters to the churches in the midst of trial. Difficult. In verse 9 of the chapter, in chapter 1, John's writing to the churches and he describes what Christianity is and how it's lived in most of human history. He said, I, John, share with you the tribulation, the kingdom, and the patient endurance. What do Christians experience in a fallen world? In the midst of battle in most of human history. What do we share? And in some ways, what is the normal Christian life? Tribulation. Living in the kingdom with the Lord and His people. And patient endurance. Perseverance. Ustrajnost. Faithful witnesses. Pričevalci, pravi pričevalci v veri. The fundamental posture of the Christian is to stand. What does Paul say in Ephesians chapter 6? Put on the whole armor of God and stand. He says it three times. Stand, stand, stand. Stand in what? Stand together in the faith. Communicate, live it and witness to it. And sometimes in history, people will see you and hear you, and they'll say, yay! Very good. 
Odlično. Other times in history, u drugi, no, u the resistance of the world will come. U drugih zgodovinskih, u drugih časih skozi zgodovino bo pa prišlo do odpora. Do and the threats of the world. In bo seveda tudi uh, uh, the threats of the world. Svet bo pravzaprav napadal na right. hrišćanstvo. And the Christian grozil with a vision of the lordship and glory of Jesus. In Christian ki vidi Jezusovo kraljestvo we in know, slavo. We know the victory has been won. Mi že vemo, da je zmaga dobljena. And the most important thing on the planet in najbolj pomembna stvar na planetu is the kingdom of God is present. Je to, da je Božje kraljestvo tukaj. And bringing people into the kingdom in, se pravi, da pripeljemo ljudi v kraljestvo is the most important thing in the, on the planet. Pridobiti ljudi za to kraljestvo Božje je najbolj pomembna stvar na planetu. Because we can see by faith zato, ker vidimo v veri that the thing God has done has already begun. Da to, ker je Bog storil, se je že začelo. The kingdom has begun. Kraljestvo je že tu. The kingdom will never end. In nikoli se ne bo končal. This world will pass away. Ta svet bo prenehal. And everything in it is going to pass away. In vse, kar je tukaj na tem svetu, bo prenehalo. But the kingdom of God is now. Ampak kraljestvo Božje je večno. And the mercy of God is in the world now. In milost Boga je tukaj v svetu sedaj. To save humanity, to save human beings. Da reši ljudi, da reši človeštvo. To bring them into the kingdom. Da pride, da, da se pravi, da pridobi ljudi za kraljestvo. And our faith and our hope, we can see the glory in the reign of Jesus. In se pravi, v naši veri, v našem upanju, lahko vidimo slavo in kraljevanje Jezusa. And we understand this world is passing. In razumemo, da ta svet ni več. And life is short. In da je življenje krat. And the king is coming. In kralj prihaja. To bring final judgment. Zato, da bo sodil. On everything. Nad vsemi, vsemi. That is not consistent. Kar ni v skladu. With his love. Z njegovo ljubezni. And the father's plan. In z Božim očetom. And his kingship. And his rule. Z njegovim kraljestvom in kraljevanjem. We can see that. Vidimo to lahko. So, we know where it's going. Vemo, kam gre. We know what he's doing on the earth. Vemo, kaj dela na zemlji. We're not surprised by the conflict. Ni nam, ni, nas ne preseneča ta konflikt na zemlji. We're not surprised by the rejection of the world. Ne preseneča nas, da je svet, da nas svet odklanja. It's no surprise. And we know the final outcome has been determined. Vemo pa da je zadnja stvar že določena, kako se bo stvar končala, je že določena. And it's our job, in naša naloga je, to stand, da stoj, da stojimo, to be faithful, da smo verni. As the world presses in, ko svet na nas pritiska, and tries to intimidate, in nas poskuša ustrahovati, tries to get you to compromise, in nas poskuša pripeljati do tega, to be a friend of the world, nas poskuša pripeljati do tega, da bi bili njegov prijatelj, da bi se skompromitirali, to get along with everybody, da bi se kar z vsemi dobro razumeli, to get people to like you, da bi nas ljudje imeli radi, to keep yourself safe, da smo varni, and secure, in da imamo varnost, to not ruin your weekend, tako da ne bi naš weekend bil ničen, right? Hmm. I just want to get along. Želim se samo dobro imeti z vsemi. And sometimes in history, in časih v zgodovini, as Slovenia knows it's in your history, se tudi v vaši slovenski zgodovini to obstaja. You had to stand in communism. Ste morali v recimo za časa komunizma stati. Some people stood. Nekateri so stali. Some people compromised. Nekateri so se kompromitirali. Some people who stood were punished. Nekateri, ki so stali, so bili kaznovani. Were killed. So bili celo umorjeni. In big numbers. In to v velikem številu. Because they would not compromise. Zato, ker se niso želeli kompromitirati. That's part of your story, is it not? To je del vaše zgodovine, ali ne? Ok. Now, we stand, and this is the most amazing thing. It's the only war, the only battle. Torej, mi stojimo. In najbolj čudovita stvar je, to je edina bitka in history, v zgodovini, edina vojna, that in order to win it, za katero, če želiš zmagat, you just have to be faithful, stand. Moraš samo vrjeti in stati. Don't quit. Ne odnehaj. Don't quit, you win. Ne odnehaš, zmagaš. You quit, you lose. Odnehaš, zgubiš. And the stakes are high. In se pravi, uh, se pravi cena je pa visoka. That's why scripture says Jesus is the faithful witness. Zato pravi se pismo, Jezus je verna priča. Zanesljiva priča. Zvesta. Zvesta priča. Yes, he's the faithful Hvala. witness. Hvala. And... In the book of Revelation, we know the is it uh, chapter 17 of the martyrs, where it talks about the martyrs, maybe 12. In vemo, da v knjigi razredite, tam, kjer govori o mučencih. Okay, they're uh, under the altar, the incense, their, their prayers are rising. Njihove molitve prihajajo pred prestor, pred Božji prestor. And they're being honored. In so počaščeni. By the angels of heaven. Od angelov nebesih. They're being honored for this reason. In zakaj so počaščeni. 
What does the book of Revelation say? Right? They loved not their lives, even unto death. Right? They conquered the devil through the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. They were faithful with their testimony like their master even to the point of death. And they were celebrating them because they loved not their own lives even to the point of death. Because the challenge, friends, and the temptation of being in a world in the battle is to overcome our self-love. It's possible to love yourself in such a way that you lose your life. If we love ourselves before the Lord, and we draw back from witness to protect ourselves, to get along, my love for myself is greater than my love for the Lord. And if I act on that, I will lose my life forever. That's what Scripture teaches us. So, um, it's our conviction that this really is the nature of what we're facing. And the Lord is shaking the nation. Hebrews chapter 12. He says that he's once again from Hagar, once again he will shake the nation. So that people who are holding on to things that are shakable, our money, our, our popularity, he shakes the nations that are moving in the wrong direction into trouble for themselves. They don't know it. He shakes the nations to wake them up. Hebrews chapter 12 says so that they don't cling to what's shakable but they cling to what is unshakable. Right? I think we're witnessing Psalm 2. In Psalm 2. Okay. Psalm 2 crisis. It's a messianic psalm. Quoted by St. Peter in, in chapter 4 of the Acts of the Apostles. Chapter 4 of the Acts of the Apostles. After they were before the Sanhedrin and had been whipped and, you know, they came back together with the brothers and sisters. It's, it's the passage where they, they prayed for more boldness and the place shook when they prayed. And so Peter quoted, they quoted that psalm. In Psalm 2. In Peter citira drugi psalm. And it has four parts. In And the first part, I think, describes what we're living through. In mislim da prvi del opisuje tisto skozi kar se da živimo. Zakaj hrumijo narodi in ljudstva razmišljajo prazne reči? Kralji zemlje so se dvignili oblastniki, se skupaj posvetujejo proti gospodu in proti njegovemu maziljencu. Pretrgajmo njihove spone, njihove vezi vrzimo s sebe. Okay. Then so the kings of the earth set themselves against the Lord. Krali zemlje se dvignili proti Gospodu. They set themselves against the commandments of God. Dvignili su se proti Božjim zapovedim. Because God's ways, they say, zato kako pravijo Božje poti, are like chains. So kot verige that bind them. To so spone, ki jih držijo. They say, let's throw off the chains. In pravijo, pretrgajmo njihove spone. 
Pope Benedict the 16th on his commentary on this Papež Benedikt 16. v njegovom komentarju so this, this is the constant temptation of the human race. To je nemehna poskušnjava človeške ljudi. If I'm going to be happy, če želim biti srečen, I must decide for myself. Se moram sam odločiti o sebi. The meaning of life. To je pomeni življenja. What is true? Kaj je res? How I will be happy? Kako bom srečen? Who I am? Kdo sem jaz? If somebody outside tells me, če mi nekdo od zune to pove, they're imposing on my freedom. V bistvu na nek način vplivajo na mojo svobodo. And if they impose on my freedom, I can't be happy. In če me omeljujejo, ne morem biti srečen. I must be the master. Jaz moram biti gospodar. So, the kings of the earth are coming together. Torej, kralji zemlje It's really happening. Prihajajo skupaj in se posvetujejo. To se dogaja with values and ideas and laws that are set against the Lord in his plan. Z vrednotami in idejami values and ideas and laws. To in zakoni, ki so proti Bogu. Okay, now read verses 4 through 6. That was the first stanza. Here's the second stanza. Ta, ki prestoluje v nebesih, se smeje. Gospod se jim posmehuje. Potem jim spregovori v svoji jezi, v svojem srdu jih prestraši. Jaz sem posvetil svojega kralja na Sionu, svoji sveti gori. So, the nations and the kings are beating their chest. Torej, narodi in kralji se tolčejo po prsi. We are in charge. Mi smo glavni. We have power. Mi imamo moč. Oblast. We don't need God, we don't need the church. Ne potrebujemo moga, ne potrebujemo crkev. I am my own master. Jaz sem svoj gospodar. And they're full of themselves. In so polni samih sebi. Blinded with pride. In so sveda zaradi ponosa slepi. What does God the Father do? In kaj Bog oče stori? Is he scared? Pa ga je strah. Is he nervous? Pa je nervozen. He laughs. Smeje se. He laughs at them to scorn. Smeje se jim. Says. Think about this. Gospod se jim posmehuje. Think about, just think about who God is. Pomislite malo, kdo je Bog. And think about the cosmos, you know. Pomislite na vesolje. 200 billion galaxies. 200 milijonov galaksi. Some galaksis have... Milijard. 200 milijard galaksi. Yeah, some galaksis have trillions of stars. Nekatere galaksi ima trilijarde zvez. It's so massive. In to je nevrijetno veliko. It's inconceivable. Ne moramo niti dojeti kako veliko je. And the scripture says... Razsežnosti tega. The scripture says... In sve to pismo pravi... All the creation is a word. In vse, kar je bilo, communicates God's word. Vse govori o Božji, o Božji besedi. It tells us who God is. Povedam, povedam o tem, kaj je Bog. God is awesome. Bog je neverjeten. God is glorious. Gospod je slaven. He's beautiful. Čudovit je. He's creative. In kreativen je ustvarja. He's infinite. In je neumejen. He's kind of scary. In je tudi, lahko se ga tudi bojimo. He's a mystery. Skrivnosten je. And then we have this little tiny planet. In potem imamo ta mali, mali planet. The little blue dot. To malo plavo piko. Right? Sometimes I think about in the summertime when I'm outside in the sun. In časih, ko sem poleti zune na soncu, razmišljam. And you see the little red ants. In vidiš tiste male mravljice, večje mravljice poleti. They're so busy. Busy. Kako so, kako so, kako delajo, so kar naprej so. And sometimes they're walking in a line together. In časih hodijo tiste mravljice v liniji, skupaj, v vrsti. And one day I was meditating on this battle. In nekega dneko sem razmišljal, premišljeval o tej bitki. And this passage in Proverbs says, think about the ants. In potem mi pravi, So I was thinking about the ants. I saw some on my yard in the sidewalk. Vidio sem tamle na dvorišču mravlje pri sebi. And I imagine one of the ants. In predstavljal sem si da ena od teh mravlji. Stood up on his little sticks. Da bi se dvignila na svojih nožicah. And raised his antenna. In da bi dvignila svoje antenna. They looked at me. In da me pogleda. We will conquer you. In pravi, mi te bomo osvojili. We are big and strong. Mi smo mocni in veliki. Yes. Right? Yeah. And I looked down and I could go, In jaz sem pogledal dol, In sem rekel, ne, gone, konec. It's a joke, it's a laugh. To je v bistvu hec, ne, se lahko ne smejimo. God sits in the heavens and laughs. In gospod se jim posmehuje. But he laughs them to scorn. Ampak gospod se tako smeji, da se jim posmehuje. He's not happy about it. In ni vesel, ni srečen. It's the scariest laugh. In history, to je najbolj grozljiv smeh v zgodovini. Because he goes on to say, se potem naprej pravi, I will speak to them in my wrath. Potem jim spregovori v svoji jezi. I will terrify them in my fury. V svojem srdu jih prestraši. What does he say? 
Petra. I have put my king. Jaz sem postavil svojega kralja. On Zion. Na Sion. The nations belong to my son. Narodi pripadajo mojemu sinu. All things were made for him. Vse stvari so bile ustvarjene za njega. All things were made through him. Vse je bilo ustvarjeno po njemu. He is the Lord of all. On je gospod vsega. He is the King of kings. On je kralj kraljev. Right? This is the declaration of the Father's heart. To je deklaracija, to je tisto, kar ima ovo. And the Father's allowing a fallen race of people in Hrvatsko. Us, we are a fallen race of people. Ja, mi smo, da, mi smo padli, mi smo padli, padli smo, ljudje smo padli. He's giving us mercy, come, there's a way for you to come and be in my son's kingdom. In tem padljem ljudem, gospod daje način, pridite, pridite, bodite v kraljestvu mojega sina. Ok, Psalm, uh, verse, stanza 3, verses 7 through 8. Or 7 through 9, no, 7 through 8. Great. Okay. Razglasil bom gospodov zakon. Rekel mi je, ti si moj sin, Danes sem to rodil. Zahtevaj od mene in dam ti narode v dediščino, v lastnino konce zemlje. Razbil jih boš železno palico, kakor lončarjevo posodo jih boš zdrobil. You are my son. Ti si moj sin. Today I have begotten you. Danes sem to rodil. The nations are the inheritance of the son. Narodi so sinova dediščina. And then it says, you shall break them with an iron rod and dash them to pieces like a potter's vessel. Everyone who resists the king is going to be destroyed. It's true. What's Jesus doing right now? What's he doing right now? Do you know? Anybody know? He's waiting. Chaka. Okay. What else is he doing? Laughing. He's what? Laughing. He's laughing. Okay, the father's laughing. Well, scripture tells us what he's interceding for the saints. Yes. And 1 Corinthians 15, Paul tells us he's subduing all the enemies of God. In Prvo Pismo Korinčanom 15, right? Right? He's very, uh, 15. 1 Corinthians 15. Right? Prvo Pismo Korinčanom 15. Pravi se daj podjarnja oziroma subduing all the enemies of God. Torej vse sovražnike Božje se daj pravzaprav premaguje. Because in the end, zato ker na koncu, everyone who opposes him, vsak ki se mu upira, is going to experience judgment. Bo na koncu sojen. He doesn't want anybody on ne želi da bi kdor koli. To be in that, to receive that. Da bi to prejel, da bi bil pod sod. That's why the church is so full of mercy and joy. Zato je crkva toliko polna. And we have so much urgency. In je tako nujno. That day is coming. Ta dan prihaja. Like Paul says, blazing like an oven. Ja, pravi, že reč. Ne? And we know where history is going. In vemo kam gre zgodovina, pa na kaj kaže zgodovina. Stanza 4, verses 10 through 11. Zdaj torej, kralji, bodite razumni, dajte se posvariti, sodniki zemlje, služite gospodu v strahu, radujte se v trepetu, prizadevajte si za iskrenost, sicer se razizi in izginete na poti, zakaj skoraj bo usplamenela njegova jeza, blagor vsem, ki se zatekajo k njemu. This is King David. To je kral David. Responding to the kings of the earth. Odgovarja kraljem zemlje. I think the church is meant to be like King David now. With the messianic anointing. Is David afraid of the kings of the earth? Is David saying, I want to be your friend? Be nice to me. Right? Tell me what I need to do. For you to leave me alone. For you to like me. What shall I do? No. Kaj moram storiti? David knows the Lord. <coughs> David pozna gospoda. And David warns the kings of the earth. In David tudi opozarja kralje zemlje. He's saying you're crazy. I pravi nori ste. And his words are so important. Serve the Lord with fear. In njegove besede so tako pomembne. Služite gospodu v strah. With trembling kiss his feet is one of the... Radujte se v trepetu. Lest you perish in the way. 
In many places in the world today, friends, the church is very, very timid. Even leaders in the church, in many places, and they're in a difficult spot. In the United States, it's a difficult situation. For the hierarchy, because Zakai. The last 15 years has been a revelation of the sins of the church. And the compromise in in the area of sexual abuse. I know many bishops. We minister to many bishops. And many of them say we feel like our voice has been taken away. Because of a loss of credibility. Because of how they handled the crisis. And what I say to them. That's true. To yes. And you've repented. And we'll help you as lay people. But you, you have to do your job. You have to be a prophet now. You have to lead. You have to have the zeal of King David. And you speak these words not because you're perfect. But because the Lord is. So it's a, it's a tremendously challenging moment. And they feel the reality that the culture is changing so fast. And the culture is embracing things and making them into laws and they directly oppose what the church is teaching. So it's a challenging time. So the question is from the Pope all the way down to me. The last one, the question is, will I be a faithful witness? I believe the Lord has anointed us. Sinful, weak, broken people with the anointing of the King. And He's giving us the privilege to be faithful, to bear witness to the truth when the kings of the earth don't want to hear it. Because they've got a different truth now. Right? And the Lord is telling us in the anointing, in the favor, in the blessing He's given us, I'm with you. I love you. I will never abandon you. Be not afraid. I will use you now. <coughs> Do you want to come with me now? Amen. 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 Amen.